as we have done in the past throughout this chapter, is we are using what we have learned about geometry to, uh, to use it to help us solve problems. So here is another uh, fun problem here. It says a 45 RPM vinyl record has a 7 inch diameter. When played on a record player, it spins at 45 revolutions per minute. That's the uh, term RPM. Suppose a song on the record is 3 minutes and 21 seconds long and there is a scratch near the edge of the record. So a couple of things uh, to point out. Here I have a graphic of a record, a 45 RPM record. And as you can see, the record looks very similar to a unit circle. As a matter of fact, I could even place quadrants in there and it looks just like a unit circle. So a couple of things to point out. We have a 7 inch diameter. That's the, the size of the record. Another thing is 45 revolutions per minute. That's how, how fast it spins. And then we have time here, 3 minutes and 21 seconds. So this record will, will play for that long, or at least the song will play for that long. Another thing is, is for A, letter A, it says, determine the central angle between the scratch on the record at which the song starts to play from when the song ends. So there's a scratch on the record. So I'm just going to put a scratch in here, and I'm just going to say it's right here. It doesn't really matter where the scratch is at, but I'm going to put it at the initial point there. So then as this record plays... We want to know by the time the song ends where this is scratch and up. So a couple of more things that I want to point out is we have two units of measure here. We have minutes and we have seconds. We just want one unit of measure. We want to express this time either all in minutes or all in seconds. I recommend doing it all in minutes because I think it's easier but also it says that the, that the record spins at 45 revolutions per minute. So I'm just going to express this time, which is 3 minutes and 21 seconds. I'm just going to express it all in minutes. There are 60 seconds in a minute. So 21 seconds, that's 21 60th of a minute, which comes out to be 0.35 minute. So 3 minutes and 21 seconds, that's the same as 3.35 minutes. So now we've expressed the time strictly in minutes. So now if the song, if the song plays for 3.35 minutes, the record uh, plays at 45 revolutions per minute. I'm going to go ahead and say 45, 3.35 minutes. That comes out to be 150.75. So in other words, this record's going to spin 150.75 revolutions by the time the song starts to the time that it ends. So the scratch right here, after 150 spins, it ends up at the same spot. But then it but then it goes around three quarters or 0.75 more of a spin. So the scratch ends up down here. So determine the central angle between the scratch on the record at which the song starts to play from when the song ends. Well, that central angle, that's this right here, right? That's 270 degrees. So the answer to A is 270 degrees. Now for B, it says determine the total linear length that the scratch on the record traveled from the start of the song to the end of the song. So maybe you could imagine that if you took the record and stood it on its edge and then rolled it along the floor at 45 revolutions per minute, for 3.35 minutes, how far along the floor would you, have, would you have traveled? So that's a circumference. And of course, a circumference, that's equal to 2 pi r. r is the radius, that's 3.5 inches, that's half the uh, diameter, but 2 times 3.5, that gives us 7 pi. So the circumference of our 45 RPM record is 7 pi. 
if it if it uh, revolves or spins for 150.75 revolutions, I'm just going to multiply that in here. Seven pi times 150.75. That's 1,055.25. Pi inches. Now pi, since this is a distance, pi is approximately equal to 3.142. So then I'm just going to multiply this by 3.142. So that's approximately 3,315 0.6 inches. If I wanted to know what this is in feet, there's 12 inches to a foot. So all I have to do is divide this by 12. So that's approximately 276.3 feet. And there you go.